Hey guys, Coach Rain here with Ninja Nation. I'm here to go over some tips with you on how to conquer the salmon ladder. All right, you guys, so to begin with, we're gonna go over what a kip is and how to get power out of that. A kip is when you drive your knees towards your chest and it allows you to get upward momentum. So you're also gonna need to open up your shoulders to create a snapping motion between your core and your upper body. You combine that with driving your knees towards your chest, and that's what's gonna give you a lot of power and drive out of your kit. Example, my head needs to be through my shoulders to create the snapping motion. And with a nice kit, you can actually get a muscle up too. So since the salmon ladder takes a lot of strength, a great place to start for beginners is actually using your momentum with that kipping motion. You can generate the most power by driving your knees up at the back of your swing. Look something like this. Great place to start with that momentum and driving your knees at the top of your swing is taking the bar actually off a salmon ladder rung. If you can do that, then you're gonna want to do little taps with the bar. If you can do that, you're gonna wanna do bigger taps until you can actually hit the bottom of the next rung. And if you can do that, you're ready to take the bar out and in and get your first salmon ladder rung. And finally taking it out and in. Hey. All right, once you have that down, using less momentum and more kipping power is gonna help you with speed and accuracy on your salmon ladder. Some strength exercises you can do to get to that point are pull-ups, Knee raises, keeping them nice and tight towards your chest, and knees to elbows, bringing your knees all the way up. Once you can do about 10 of each, you'll have the strength to consistently start to pull off some of those more advanced techniques. Another technique is the gymnastics kip. It requires a little bit less strength and more momentum, but a lot of technique. So if you wanna learn more about it, make sure you come in and ask a coach. To complete a transfer on the salmon ladder, you're gonna go back to some of those momentum fundamentals. All right, you guys, it's a lot like a lache. You're gonna to wanna to build as big a swing as you feel comfortable with, driving your hips forward, keeping your arms straight, and snapping at the front of your swing. Something to note, you guys, the bar does actually spin. It's not a huge problem, but if it's something you're uncomfortable with, you can always use a switch grip method to help lock that bar into place and use all the same techniques and methods that we were going over. And like this. The salmon ladder is at all of our locations. Make sure you come in and check it out for yourself. If you need any help, ask a coach, and we're here to help you out.